Maui loved fishing, but his brothers would always refuse to take him, and they would always leave Maui behind. Oh, next time Maui! Determined, Maui came up with a plan. In the night, Maui did sneak away and he did hide himself within the bottom of the canoe. It's there he lay hidden. The next day, Maui's brothers set off to fish, supposing that they had left Maui behind. They did not realize that Maui was hiding at the bottom of the canoe. Maui waited until they were far out to sea. And then suddenly he sprung out from his hiding place, surprising his brothers. Maui's brothers were grumpy and they did not share their bait with Maui. So he struck himself in the nose causing it to bleed and he smeared the blood all over the sacred jawbone that he used as a hook. Maui lashed a piece of line to his hook and he began to twirl it high above his head. Finally, he let go, launching the hook far out to sea. The hook descended deeper and deeper into the depths of Tongaroa. Until it reached the ocean floor. Maui's hook gave off a scent which attracted the greatest of all fish. That fish took hold and started to pull Maui and the canoe down. The canoe tossed and turned. In fear of losing their lives, Maui's brothers pleaded with him to let the fish go. Amid the challenge, Maui stood firm. Determined, Maui did not give up. He called on support from his brothers to help him, and he prayed mightily for strength. With the strength of everyone, they began to haul the fish from the sea. Maui had left his brothers to take care of his fish while he gathered his people. But on his return, his brothers had already cut and hacked into the great fish. Today, Maui's canoe is known as the South Island, with the great fish of Maui being the North Island, with Stewart Island being the anchor. The landscapes of the North Island being carved out by Maui's brothers. This is the story of the great fish of Maui, or Te Ika a Maui.